a lot of people think you have credibility because of your degree or because of your skill or because of some pro past project and that that can help and it definitely especially if you're on a project that's like highly visible and lots of people know about it you know you, if you like help to design tiktok's algorithm and you can show that you know <clears throat> that definitely could give you some credibility on its own but for the most part people look for credibility based on the amount of influence that somebody actually has and if they're getting in front of other people and if they're trusted by people that you trust you're more likely to trust them so the whole idea behind that is you get credibility by association it's one of the fastest ways to gain credibility so if you think of somebody whether you like them or not whether you agree with them or not if you think of somebody like joe rogan he has an incredible amount of credibility in lots of areas and lots of people's minds because he has people on that are very well known. Some of them are very well respected. Some of them aren't, you know, it kind of depends, but they're very well known. And he's pretty much been the top podcast for a long time because he's having people on that he's borrowing their credibility or influence. You know, one of the two, they both are, maybe for him, it's more influence than credibility.